Hello everyone, I'm back again with my new video. My name is Nakash Ahmed and you're watching Notch365 Academy YouTube channel. And like always, I have been making videos on Microsoft Teams for past like three months now. And I have been receiving a tremendous amount of positive feedback from the users, from, from my followers. I really thank you all. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. And do share it with others uh, really uh, i'm receiving a very nice comments and nice thank you nice uh, viewership so thank you all and uh, in today's video i'm going to show you uh, yet another application which can be used in microsoft teams by teachers especially because in this application the teachers can will be able to create an create a quiz uh, our quiz can be of any time any type like uh, uh, a true and false quiz, uh, a multiple choice questions quiz, any quiz, any kind of quiz. And they can assign it uh, uh, for the students as a homework or uh, play with them uh, inside the classroom live. So the name of the application is Kahoot. So it's a third party application, but it has been integrated with Teams, a very good integration with Teams. And uh, let's see how it goes and how teachers can use my, uh, Microsoft Teams with Kahoot. Okay. So uh, let's start. Uh, but for before starting, uh, I will have to create an account on a Kahoot. So if you are a teacher and if you do not have account on uh, Kahoot, you have to make an account first. So go to kahoot.com, uh, click sign up and uh, create an account either via Microsoft uh, account or with your Google account and select yourself as a teacher if you are a teacher. So you can select yourself as a teacher. So I have already made my account and this is the default home screen for Kahoot uh, where I can create my Kahoot. Kahoot means like any quizzes that I have. So I have my Kahoot already placed but if you want I can create new one like uh, if I click create here. And uh, I have two templates right now because I am using the basic free version of Kahoot. So let's click create uh, for the new Kahoot. So this is the screen for where I can click create my quizzes okay so let's make a simple uh, quiz here uh, just like that you create a question here here you can add an image if you want to Okay, from any, uh, they have their library here, a big library. Okay, and uh, you can also uh, select the sizes of the image that you want. You can also select the points that a student can earn. And you can also select the type, a single select or multi-select. Okay, this is the timer for each question. Let's say, let's have a 10 seconds for each question. And let's ans give the answers now. Okay. Like this. Just one more. Okay. Just like this. So I can now as, as a teacher select the correct one. So this is the correct one. So it is already saving because it has uh, auto save option. You can also add another one. But let's check with only one question now. Click done. You can add a Kahoot title. Okay, like this. Any sub any description that you want for your students to read to understand the quiz, you can have it. Just click continue. Okay, just click done. So my quiz has been ready. It has been published. Now, if I go back to my teams as a global administrator or teacher, all you have to do is you have to come to your team first and uh, if you have uh, uh, channels you can add the tab uh, i already have kahoot added in journal channel but let me add once again on my this breakout room channel uh, channel so click on plus you can see this application here kahoot so just add kahoot as a tab so now i will have to log into my kahoot Right, Kahoot and click save. So it is not setting up my tab here. You can see the tab has been added. 
and now the my quizzes are here as well so you can see the demo quiz which i just created have been popped up in my channel as a tab so it is visible to everyone who are in this channel who are in this team okay so i just have to click here play and i have two options now the one is for teach and the one is assign for teach it means you can uh, play this quiz or you can uh, work on this quiz right away on live in the classroom okay and for the assign you can assign this quiz as a homework or assignment for the students okay so let me go with the assign first because i have to show you the students view as well so let me click on assign let me select the today's date and time what time is it 11 you can also have some options like the question timer it is on you can randomize the answer order or you can also have the name generator nickname generator you can also have any note for the students just click create so now it will assign this challenge this quiz to all the students who are added in this team class 1a okay so now switch let's let me switch back to my student view so this is my student view you can see it's student a i'm in my journal channel let's go to first breakout room challenge so you can see instantly i got the message here from kahoot that a new challenge has been assigned from my teacher on this channel first breakout room so all you have to do is as a student so you have to click here open challenge so now kahoot will be open up as a pop-up window so all you have to do is you have to write a nickname let's spin it up so it will generate a new nickname this looks nice okay so this is a demo quiz the title that i gave so it's really kahoot is actually a very uh, entertaining and attentive application where students will have a feeling of uh, fun and fun environment uh, so this is the question so now I click Microsoft the correct one so you can see I have earned my points 662 points click next so you have completed the points in the challenge so you can see this my nickname has added this this much points okay that's it this is how students can uh, attempt the quizzes so the quizzes can be very fun learning by fun learning because you can add music in the behind uh, the quiz the uh, the attachments you can add and there are lots of options so even i haven't explored uh, so much yet but uh, kahoot is actually a good application where teachers can use it for making quizzes okay you can also organize them into folders uh, by by mean like uh, folders like uh, classes so if you have several classes you can have several uh, quizzes uh, as per your classes so this is how it goes you can also see the reports okay uh, how much how uh, how the quizzes have been behaving okay you can continue here so you can see uh, the quizzes i have made yet it ends in 36 minutes the challenge mode okay let me open it up so this was my quiz and one player attempted only this was the start date this was to end this was the end date so because this was only a simple question simple quiz so there's not much to see here the correct answer was 100% one so you can also print out those report and uh, do all the stuff uh, for administrative purposes so that was all about the integration of teams with kahoot it's a really really nice application i really loved it and really enjoyed using it so if you are a teacher and if you are uh, doing the remote learning on teams then you must go with microsoft uh, teams with kahoot okay so thank you so much for watching my video if you have any questions if you have any recommendations any suggestions please drop a comment and uh, i hope you like my video and please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much